Hello, I am Unlean. Welcome to my general mathematics class. We are about to continue our lessons about rational functions. For the content standards, we have the learner demonstrates understanding of key concepts of rational functions. Performance standards, the learner is, to, is able to accurately formulate and solve real-life problems involving rational functions. For the most essential learning competency, we have the learner distinguishes rational function, rational equation, and rational inequality. First lesson for today is about rational functions, equations, and inequalities. Rational expression can be described as a ratio or quotient of two polynomials. So let's have a review on rational expression. Let's first have this activity. You're going to determine whether the given expression is a rational or not. Let's start. Three x squared minus five x plus two is divided by x plus 1. Rational or not? It's a rational expression. Next example. 2 divided by x minus 5. Rational or not? It is again a rational expression. The square root of x minus 4 divided by 2x plus 1 is not a rational since the numerator is x not a polynomial expression. Last given x plus 5. Is it a rational expression or not? Obviously, it is not a rational expression since the expression does not have a denominator. Okay, we're done with the activity. Let's proceed with the definition of terms. We have rational equation, rational inequality, and rational function. Rational equation, it is an equation involving rational expression. So our example is x plus 4 divided by x minus 1 is equal to 1 over 5. So as you can see, two expressions are equated or are related with the equal sign. Now we proceed with our rational inequality. It is an inequality involving rational expression. Our example is x minus 2 divided by 5 is greater than 3. So as you can see, two expressions are related by using an, an inequality symbol which is the greater than sign. Now, for rational function, it is a function of the form f of x equal to function p of x divided by function q of x, where p of x and q of x are polynomial functions, and q of x is not the zero function. So, as our example, we have the function f of x is equal to x squared plus 6x plus 8 divided by x plus 4. So we use the function notation f of x, which can also be um, replaced by the, by the variable y. Now, f of x is a function of no function notation, so our independent variable is the variable x. Now, let's go further with our discussion by examples of rational expressions. You're going to determine whether the given expression is a rational equation, a rational function, a rational inequality, or none of this. So let's start. We have x plus 5 divided by x minus 1 is equal to y. Is it a rational, exp rational equation, rational inequality, a rational function, or none of this? So it is a rational function. As you can see, we have y here as the function notation. Okay, next. 
we have the square root of 2 divided by x plus 1 is less than or equal to 3. It is none of this or none of the rational expression. Since we have a, a radical expression on the numerator, so it is not a polynomial expression. So it does not categorize in any of the three three types of rational expression. Now we proceed with the independent practice. You're going to determine whether the given is a rational function, rational equation, rational inequality, or none of this. Now, our first given is 1 plus x divided by x minus 2 is equal to 4. Is it a rational equation, rational inequality, rational function, or none of this? So obviously, it is a simple rational expression, so that is a rational equation. Our next given is 5x is greater than or equal to 2 divided by 2x minus 1. Now, with the presence of the inequality symbol, therefore, this is a rational inequality. Next given, we have f of x is equal to x squared minus 7 divided by x plus 2 minus 3. Yes, we can see a function notation f of x. Therefore, the given rational expression is a rational function. Next given, x plus 2 divided by x minus 2 is equal to y plus 3. So this is a little bit tricky, but if you notice, we have a y variable there. Y is considered as a function notation. Therefore, this given rational expression is considered as rational function. And last given, we have x plus 1 divided by 2 is less than the square root of x plus 3. Yes, as you can see, we have a radical expression on one side of the expression, which is not considered as a rational expression. Therefore, this expression is none does not belong to any of the category or types of rational expression so this will be none of this okay that's all for our lesson about rational expression understanding rational equation rational inequality and rational function okay thank you for listening thank you for watching till next lesson god bless